A Course in Miracles suggests that we make an ego for everyone that we meet. This ego is a projection. It arises from fear. The suggestion here is that God is also a projection, that we have a projection of God, that we have a that, that arises in fear, and that takes the form of ideas and mental constructs. We have this image of what God is, and it can come from our family, can come from culture, can come from the different traditions of which we've been a part. But it's always related to that deep down feeling of fear that we have. It's very hard to investigate this projection, but I think the invitation that A Course in Miracles makes is that we don't need to be afraid of doing that. There's a playfulness in doing that. It's okay for us to find out what that projection of God is. Perhaps it's a remote God or a judgmental God. Perhaps it's an angry God. Whatever that God is, that is the image, the projection that obscures the light of love. Right? That projection of God is what obscures our experience of God. Remembering God means no longer projecting a God. We become humble. We become open. I don't know. Teach me. Show me. We become like little children in the presence of parents who love them. This has been very clear in the Christian tradition, which, of course, in Miracles is part of. Jesus talked about this in, in all of the Gospels, I think. You know, bring little children to me. Become as little children. It's a statement about not knowing and being okay with our not knowing because when we're okay with our not knowing then we can learn god wants to be found experienced remembered loved played with our seriousness our convictions about the intensity of God or the depth of God or the mystery of God or the wholeness of God or the perfection of God or the unknowability of God becomes this projection that obscures the simple, beautiful truth that right now, right here, God is present as love, as light. It's a very, very gentle, natural, sustainable happiness that arises in us merely as a condition of our being. Therefore, the work is not to find God, nor even seek God, but merely to become aware of the projections, which are blocks to our awareness of love's presence. We just need to notice that we're projecting, and we need to be willing to say, you know, there's a better way. I am open to that. And when we become open to that, we let go, we release the projection, the idol, and in its place, we remember love. That's the promise A Course in Miracles makes, and that's the practice of A Course in Miracles. And nothing but joy attends it. Nothing but joy attends it in the end. <laughs>